All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about connecting OBS so that we can see what's playing on our station. Maybe you do a live show, maybe you do YouTube live or whatever, and you're using OBS, or you're just doing it on your website. Today, we're going to look at how to get what you're playing in the album cover over into OBS. We're going to start with the very, there's three ways. We're going to start with the very simplest way right now, and that's getting the uh, now I'm playing info. Okay. So I'm going to click my plus sign and I am going to select text. Now I just upgraded this thing to whatever the latest version is. Today is uh, September the 12th, 20, 2014. So I just updated this. I'm going to call this now I'm playing text or just now I'm playing. I'm hit OK. Then it's going to ask me, well, it's going to do this, and then it's going to, I'm going to select read from a file. All right, so at this point, the dilemma is whether or not you're doing this on the same computer or if it, it is networked. I do not recommend doing it on the same computer that you're running your radio station on. You need to be on another computer, and you need to network this. So that's what I have done. Basically... On the broadcast computer, because I know that I, I will be doing the OBS thing, what I did was instead of my now I'm playing staying inside of the installation folder, I made a folder outside of my radio station's folder. Let me show it to you because it's right here. Uh, I made a folder on the outside of the folder where all the now I'm playing goes. So I have this station's folder. And in there are my stations and this now I'm playing folder is where all the now I'm playing go goes. And so I just point SC caster to where they are so that it can update on the stream. Okay. Now, why did I do that? Because I want to make this now playing shareable, which it is. It is shareable. Okay. So we're going to be doing this station right here, my flagship station, which is actually on another computer. So we got to do it through the network. So I'm going to go get that now and play and I'm going to browse. Actually, it's already going to it. As you can see at the top, it's network is the IP address, the folder, actually the folder stations is being shared. And then the now I'm playing um, folder where you see all three stations now I'm playing. So I'm going to grab the one we're looking at right now and I'm going to open that. Now I'm going to tell you now I have, um, a lot of stuff going on now. I think there is a, like a auto update. It's transform. Maybe not. Okay. So I have a lot of metadata. This is the song you see it up at the top. So I'm pulling in the noun playing. Let me shrink. Ooh. Let me shrink this down. I'm pulling in the now I'm playing. And this works great if that's all you're doing. Unfortunately, getting the image is not so easy. So we have to do something different with the image. The reason why this is so long, yo, is because... Uh, with my monitoring system, I'm sending uh, quite a bit of data from Radio DJ. So that goes on the now plane as well. But if you're not doing what I'm doing, then this wouldn't be so big. Come on, mouse. So you see the name, Heal the Brokenness. You see the artist. I'll, I'll stop it right there. But what comes after that is the album. We'll put that right here. And actually we'll make it smaller because there could be a song that comes on. that has an even longer title or longer song title and artist name. So we'll get all that in there. It's going to be small though. I will say that. Come on. I got a bad mouse, you guys, so bear with me. I got to get a new one. All right, we'll stop there.
The rest of that stuff is some other information. All right, so you can see that we're pulling in the noun playing, and it is networked. It's across the network. And um, as you see, the song changed where well, it changed to. So it auto updates with the song as well. Okay. Again, we can't get the album cover this way. Um, I've thought about different ways of doing it. I've tried using the now I'm playing export, but I can't do it that way because we only have one. If we had two, maybe we could work something out, but we only have one. So we're going to have to use the internet. And the other two options is from your website, or if you set up a server on your computer, you can do it from your server on your computer. The concept is still the same. So I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm trying to remember. All right. So we're going to use the browser capture to grab data from the internet. All right. So I've already set up where uh, I'm just capturing the image and I'm using the data grabber that you can find for free in my store at carterscripts.com. And so I'm going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to hit browser and I'm going to call this one cover because that's all this, this particular web page does. I'm grabbing a web page and the name is already in use where, Oh my goodness. Um, Oh, it's down there. I see it. Got it. All right. And then right here, it's not a local file. I have a web address. All right. That's going to the artwork. Okay. So that's the artwork. That is the clock sisters. And we see we are on the clock sisters. Now it's, it's stuck because the news is running and the news doesn't put out. And now that it's in here, you can move things around, make it as big or as small as you need to fit whatever it is you're doing. If you want it over in the corner, you just shrink it down and it will shrink down. But it's getting the data from the Internet. OK, now, in this case. It's getting the song data. From the now playing text, but it's getting the album cover from the Internet. So they won't be necessarily synced. One will be before the other. And of course the noun plain text will come first and then the album will cover will finally show up. I'm going to pause this so we can get back into the music. The news is about to come off. So we get ready to see changes. Okay. So it didn't take long for the image to change. I do have the image um, refreshing every seven seconds to keep up with um, the noun playing text. So the noun playing text is coming from Radio DJ. The album cover is coming from the web. So there's another thing you can do. We're gonna turn these off. You could get the noun playing from the web, but I don't believe it updates. I'm just grabbing, I'm grabbing a text file that's generated from the data gra data grabber. Now, if you've got the data grabber earlier and it didn't work, try it again. I've been knee deep in coding for the past year, and so um, I'm going to revamp that and upload that today, and it's going to be more efficient. All right, so ooh. Yeah, it's there, but because I can't control the color of the text, let's see, body right here, background color. Let's change this, see what we get. This RGB, yeah, it's RGB. 
All right, I will not lie. I had to go look it up. <laughs> All right, so we want to change the background color. Now, this might not suit your scenario. Let's try zero. Might not suit your scenario. See, the text is up there, but it's real tiny. So that right there, getting the text from the web. Uh -huh. All right. And so the last one. Is I have a web page. I call it the sidebar. So if you got the. Data grabber, our, our radio DJ data grabber. That's a tongue twister. This comes in that package. Again, we're going to use the browser. We'll call this. Uh, I call it what it's called sidebar. All right. And we're going to paste in the link to the sidebar. See what we get. Because I have no idea. All right. Ah, I see what's going on. Okay, so. Is this it right here? Wow, that's tiny. To make that bigger. It's going to get crazy. But you can make it bigger. All right, so because this is a web page. We see the album cover. See, it matches what's playing in the background. And we see that we can't see the text. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to go in to the code and make the code more palatable, palatable for the background. Hold on. All right. So what I did was I changed the HTML code of the little web page, sidebar web page, made it uh, dark in the back. So I could put color on the words and bring those out. And you can have fun with those. You see, I did just change. I changed the color just to show that you can have a little fun with it. This would probably be the best way to do this um, because everything's all contained together. So you have to use the data grabber and I'm going to update it. Uh, for OBS. So I'll probably call it a different name. So I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, but it'll be the link will be down in the description so that you can go pick it up. But that's how you do OBS. Now, you would, you, if you got your own home server, you would do the same thing. Um, you'll be pointing to the location of your home server pretty much the same way. We did this right here because your home server would be somewhat similar. It would be similar to that link right there. Or it may be local host and whatever. I almost forgot. There's one more um, PHP script in the package. It's called the noun playing. Let's see what that looks like. Turn you off. Again, we're going to select browser. This one is horizontal. They come out small. I don't know why they come out small. Oh, I know why. Probably because the web page is small. If I made it bigger, like a bigger web page, I'll probably do that for OBS. Uh, make it bigger. And as you can see, this one did not change when the song changed, but we do know that it does work. But that's basically what you would do if you want to um, do it with OBS. Do it over the internet, Put get a server, put it on the server, get the data grabber. Now, 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 now. Let me explain something. The reason the album covers come up is because my system sends the album covers. 
Let me see if I can get in here. To a server. And I use Wins. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Win SCP, I guess. This thing monitors the album covers folder and puts, you know, if a new album cover folder shows up for any of the stations, it pushes it over online. So that's the reason why the album cover show. And so you're seeing the covers because the covers are actually stored online. And let me open this up. So what I did is modify this. I've got to get a new mouse. I tell you what, I modified this to to for cover location. I added that in so that the script knows where the covers are. All the script has to do now is match what goes on the end, which is the, um, the image file name. That's all that goes on the end in the other files. And so that's how it knows what the image is. So if I open up this cover, see, it's, it's going to replace, it's going to read the cover URL text file and replace that. And that's how it knows. Uh, I'll probably do a master class on it or put it on how to use radio DJ. Or if you guys want me to put it on here and you know, I'll do it. It's boring, tedious. Um, but <laughs> it works. So that's how you get the album covers into. Oh yes. It's not going to change now because we're not pointing to where these are located at. So it's stuck on this James Moore album cover. Hope this has helped guys. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.